Right, hello Gamer Virgins, welcome back to the channel. It's Ben, self-proclaimed handsome king simp, and I am very happy you are here today. Today we are looking at bad women's anatomy, but because we're total chads on this channel and Gamer Virgins accept all, we understand that this doesn't apply to all women because all women don't have the same anatomy. Some people are trans, some people are different, and some have had surgeries. I'm not the best with words, but you get the idea. Basically, this video is people who have no idea what they're talking about, or who just don't have an understanding of how women work, or are just plain ignorant to women. Comment down below if you're surprised by anything in this video, because why else it would be funny. Let's begin. Holy spaghetti, first sentence and I'm laughing my ass off. Knowing that women eat pee and <laughs> makes them incredibly unattractive. Periods just top it all off. It kills me that I'm supposed to be attracted to these creatures. And no, I'm not gay. I'm attracted to women, but knowing they are just animals turns me off so much. My ideal woman would look like a woman, but with no bodily functions. <laughs> How do men this week even manage to survive? Like, what do people like this honestly think? Do you think women just eat food and then the, body, the, the food just disappears? It doesn't go anywhere? Idiot. Absolute idiot. Get in the bin. Men. What are these feminists talking about? We don't objectify women. Also men, the ideal woman is literally just an object shaped like a woman's body. Why are people like this? Seriously, I remember a meme on my channel where lots of people would comment, I am not a woman, I am a chair or I am a lamp in the response to comments like this. Some dudes really be out here looking like a bootleg Shrek with minus 100 hygiene, washing themselves with the butter from their ham sandwich and have the audacity to say, women are creatures. Like, <laughs> bro, crawl back into your sewer making such stupid comments like this. <laughs> Just pinch it off. I had to share this with someone as this is the only place I can think of. We have a three week old baby and my wife is breastfeeding. She leaks sometimes and gets wet spots on her shirt. I suggested that she try nipple clamps to pinch them off and prevent leaking. What? Her response was WTF is wrong with you. That's not how boobs work. How the hell am I supposed to know that? Whoa. Can this guy send some of his massive brain to science, please? If you have leaky nipples, just get some clamps on them. That would be comfortable. I mean, why stop there? Just cut them off. Slice the whole nipple off. <laughs> Can you imagine how that conversation would go down with your friends? Hey, Catherine, what happened to your nipples? Oh, they were leaking, so I just, just sliced my nipples off. <laughs> I just got some clamps on them. Jesus, like, who is who are, who are these fools? News to me, I am losing my mind. Tell me why I just learned at age 29 that breast milk doesn't come out of the nipple. What? I, I, okay, I've got I've to gotta check this out. I, I didn't know this. Okay, gonna do this on the good old incognito because I do not want people to know that I didn't know this. Oh, well, fair enough. I'll be damned. Milk production occurs within the ab alveoli, which are grape-like clusters of cells within the breast. Okay, well, th to be fair, they kind of are still in, you know, the nipple area, but yeah, I, I didn't know they, they directly didn't come from that. Roll of your baby. Did people really need to know this? Hey, just so you know, your baby is meant to do this. It doesn't just poo itself, funny enough. <laughs> our boobs are airbags for our hearts. Now, this glorious tweet comes from Mr. Tommy Sobieski. I think that's how you say his name. But small boobs? That's why your heart gets hurt so easy. No airbags to support the damage. Thank you, Tommy. You are very smart and funny. I have your small PP award in the mail and being sent to you as we speak. So according to Tommy, guys, if any of you have ever gone through a bad breakup or just general heartbreak and you couldn't get over it, it's because you have small boobs. Because you had no airbags to support the damage. Oh, Foolish of me. That would be like saying to men, hey, your balls weren't big enough to keep you grounded in reality and not be too upset. This guy, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> this idiot, Josh Denny, I've never heard of this guy. And spare me the many women don't know they're pregnant for six weeks. Jam jars. Only jam jars wouldn't know for six weeks. Obviously, I had to blur out the word, but this guy, this guy can just get in the bin. Simple as. I don't want to come across like some self-righteous individual or be like, oh men, am I right? Pesky men. It's totally unnecessary. But how do you know what it feels like to be pregnant? This, this guy is an idiot, that, that's all. 
Don't hula while you're on your period. What? Instructions for hula hoop. Oh god. <laughs> like what is this? It's just instructions for hula hoop. And then for the instructions of number five, it's just avoid exercising in female pregnancy or menstrual cycle. I mean, I kind of get the whole, you know, don't hula hoop while you're pregnant. But while you're on your period, just watch out ladies, if you hula hoop while you're on your period, you might indirectly make your room or surroundings look like a crime scene. Because the g-force being created by the extreme hula hooping you will be doing, oh, it will be cataclysmic. <laughs> I have no words. I can smell your arousal, Lizette, he told her softly. Yes, he insisted, as she gasped in protest. Peaches? Or perhaps apricots mixed with a musky, wally, feminine smell. What? Are half the words here just spelled incorrectly? Anyway, hmm, yes, nothing is more seductive than apricots mixed with a musky, wally, feminine smell. Have you ever heard anyone actually say, oh yeah, women have this certain type of smell and if they don't have it, then I'm just not interested? Yet whoever is saying it hasn't like showered in like seven days and they look like an absolute trash can, like, bruh, <laughs> no. Bad women's psychology. Fun fact, nurses take the baby away from the mother for the first 12 to 24 hours because the female's natural instinct is to kill the baby so that it can avoid taking responsibility and they can go back to Chad Tyrone. It's called post-mortem distress birthing, okay. That almost sounds believable. It might also be a little bit believable, but I don't know. You really lost me when you said they can go back to Chad Tyrone. <laughs> oh no. The first half of the article looked well put and then this happened. Vaginal steaming. Okay, the best way to support the uterus in through vaginal steaming, if you've ever been sick with the flu and you do the thing where you stand over a pot of hot water with a towel over your head and breathe in the steam to clear your sinuses. That's what vaginal steaming is for your uterus. You can also steam with special herb blends. Whoa! That incorporate herbal medicine to give your body even more support. I'm still confused on what effect any of this is supposed to have. Is this, is this when your uterus has a cold or when your uterus just starts sneezing? You're expected just to stand over a, hot, a pot of hot water and let the steam do its magic. I mean, for any of you ladies out there who didn't want to go to the doctors because the, your uterus was having a sneezing fit, you're welcome for me making this video and letting you know you can stand over some steam and fix that. But don't forget, special herb blends might do a little bit more. Okay, well there is enough bad women anatomy for today. If you lovely people enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out and you can unsubscribe whenever you want. It is absolutely free. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'll enjoy reading all the comments on this video. I hope you gamer virgins have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.